Hello guys, recently Eric from Cursor tweeted this. They have internally used slash command to remove the so-called AI slob and I decided to try it out. So when I click this link, I landed on this page. This is heavily zoomed in and this is the actual command. And I decided to try it from two angles, kind of outside of cursor and then as a cursor command. So this is interesting. It's kind of like a cleanup after AI. So whatever AI generates, they ask to remove extra unnecessary comment and remove any other style inconsistent with the file. And then a few more coding related stuff, but I want to focus on those two extra comments and inconsistency. So let's try it out and see it in action. So here I am in cursor, but the main logic of this cleanup will work for any LLM like Claude Code or others. So I decided to create a Laravel class, PHP class, and this prompt is deliberately kind of in enforcing extra comments so that enterprise grade static analysis onboarding friendly should produce quite a few comments in doc blocks let's try it out and for faster delivery i choose composer one model which is really fast so i wouldn't even need to stop this video for pausing so it creates the service and a few more related files it should be done in roughly 10 seconds or so i think and I already see the comments being generated and we will review it in a few seconds. Okay, it wasn't that fast. It was more like 20 seconds instead of 10 that I would expect. So see the result and see the comments here. The comments probably, yeah, above in the dog blog. And some of those comments are for static analysis and useful, but create a new task explaining the method of create. You know what I mean. I know some developers do prefer those comments for like API documentation and stuff like that. But just for the sake of this demo, let's try that prompt. So let's click keep for this service and then it will be in the diff against main branch. And then let's try to run that as an extra prompt. That's why I told you it would work in any cursor cloud code or others. So let's start a new chat, paste this here and also let's remove the things that i am not interested in and let's see what happens will it actually remove unnecessary comments and what it would consider to be unnecessary so yeah i already see the comments being run out let's see the actual final result okay and here we have the result minus 97 lines of code let's see what it's suggested to change remove all of that comment remove this comment so basically remove all the comments now this is interesting it depends on how you formulate the task the task was formulated as removing extra comments that a human wouldn't add so probably the better way to formulate this prompt would be something like this let's undo and let's repeat the same prompt with a bit different formulation extra comments that a human wouldn't add except for static analysis comments and let's remove this line because it didn't actually affect anything and then report at the end to be honest i haven't seen that report from last thing that we run but i will double check if it actually reported something now this time yep this is the result and the result is actually the same so let's read the report remove verbose ai generated comments keeping only the code with type hints and also remove the unused model not found exception import okay so yeah i'm not even sure i was actually expecting that to remove these comments on top because they don't provide much value to be honest but those methods and parameters are useful for again api documentation and probably static analysis so again it's a proof that it matters how you formulate the things with ai because how ai interprets your prompt is actually important or actually let's try another thing let's try another llm undo and let's try the same prompt with for example sonnet 4.5 without thinking so it would be faster let's run that again and i will pause this video and will tell you the result and this is the result same result 97 lines removed same comments removed it just took much longer with sonnet like two to three minutes but yeah sonnet also treated those comments as unnecessary ai slop 
So yeah, I was expecting to add that command as my command in cursor or whatever in the guidelines, but I wouldn't do that because it doesn't work exactly as I was expecting. But also in this video, I want to show you what cursor command even is. And if you want to add this to your cursor, this is the general documentation about cursor commands. So you can add commands in dot cursor slash commands as just MD files, and then they will be available in the prompt. But the way how Eric shared it on Twitter, look at this, this is a link. So if I directly click that, it opens cursor automatically, and then you can add it to the project with one button click. I add it to the project, which means it appears in dot cursor commands like this. And then in the prompt in the chat, let's open new chat, I can do command D slop like this. And there's a separate documentation of cursor on deep links and how to create them for prompts and commands. So I will link that in the description below. But basically, you can add the repeating things as commands here and then access them just with slash something in the chat. Do you have any favorite slash commands in cursor or in other IDEs and LLMs? Share them in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.